A while back I made a video about the APC Smart UPS Model 420 that you're looking at right now. A video where it was shown sitting on my bed singing what was a very mournful and highly discordant song. Now that video caused concern and alarm amongst some of the people who watched it, who felt that perhaps the unit was getting ready to experience a serious malfunction, or that the battery was in fact making that noise and was possibly about to explode or catch fire. Well, what you're watching now is a little bit of an update video made mainly to allay any of those concerns that anyone might have had. This UPS was suffering from nothing more than a seriously depleted battery that was no longer able to allow it to operate correctly. You see, some of these UPS units that American Power Conversion has sold and manufactured over the years require that a good battery be in place in order for them to function correctly. And such is the case with this unit. When the battery went bad, it started making that mournful, discordant squealing noise, and then, of course, it shut off the entirety of the load that was attached to it, which brought me out of hibernation from the basement and upstairs to see what had happened with my internet connection, as this UPS is used to keep all that stuff running in the event that the power should go out. And since my internet connectivity equipment is located in my closet, I figured that someone had been in there and inadvertently had pulled the plug out of the ceiling light fixture. Fortunately, nothing like that happened, and what I'm going to do today as proof that optimism springs eternal, and I really think the only problem was in fact a dead battery, is to install a new functional battery inside this APC UPS and demonstrate if it does indeed come back to life for those of you who are watching here on YouTube. Now the first thing we have to do is go ahead and loosen the screws that secure the battery compartment on the bottom of the UPS. On some models these screws are captive and come out with the cover. You'll notice I'm using a very high technology screwdriver here. <laughs> the door is more often than not captive. Go ahead and just open that up. And it doesn't open up very far. I'll try and rotate that around so you can actually see what I'm doing here. This is the world's finest battery, courtesy of eBay, which really seems to be the place to buy these by and large, as American Power Conversion charges an absolutely ridiculous sum of money for these things. Now don't be surprised if when I put the battery in here, if there's not a brief pop or spark visible from the terminals as the capacitors inside this unit charge up. Now we do want to make sure that we get the polarity right, otherwise we probably will uh, diddle something inside this UPS and then it will be good only for parts. Now, I wonder how they intend for me to put the battery in here. I think they want it to go like this. So that's how we're going to try it first. I heard a little peep from inside. It's pretty well behaved. This is actually a larger battery. It has a higher current rating. So as with all of these sealed lead acid brick batteries from China, I'm not sure that makes any real difference. I would imagine that the actual manufacturer just prints whatever the distributor wants the battery to say in terms of capacity. So we'll go ahead and use the high-tech screwdriver once again. Try not to cross-thread this other screw, because that would be good to avoid doing that. As soon as I've got these screws put together, I'll go ahead and turn the unit over and we'll plug it in. And the front panel lights will probably flash briefly. It may or may not turn itself on. Okay, I heard a relay click. It's doing its little, uh, some sort of a routine here. Not sure exactly what that pattern means, but it probably has some meaning. Okay, see if it'll go ahead and turn itself on. I should have plugged some sort of a load into it so its self-test would be valid. I didn't have anything like that handy. Well, there it went on to battery. And there it came off the battery, and as you can see, everything is fine once again. So, as always, thank you for watching. And by all means, feel free to leave a comment if you have one.